Just as Sharon tells her lawyer that she wants a divorce, an injured Phil falls through the front door. Typical Phil, hey? He's rushed to hospital and refuses to talk to Marsden, but he does have the decency to ask Sharon to forgive him. We think he's a lost cause, but Sharon can't seem to say no. Phil is traumatised by what Gavin did to him. Ben tries to appeal to his dad's better nature by suggesting they need Marsden's help, but Phil loses it. He never learns, does he? Oh, and things take a more sinister turn when Ben, Phil and Kathy experience a harrowing Halloween. Shabnam's still secretly trying to win her fight for Jade and brings the wedding forward after Mass has to go see his dad when he suffers a heart attack. But Kush wakes up and smells the masala masood when he realises the real reason Shabby's so desperate to get married. Can she change his mind when he tells her the wedding's off? Dippy Martin tells Kush she's going to propose to Stacey, but when she finds the engagement ring, she puts pay to that plan before getting her second big shock of the day. Next, it's Corrie. When Sharif and Yasmin offer to make Gary a partner in the gym, a desperate Alia suggests she and Gary elope. She's not getting out of it that easily and realises she needs to tell Gary the truth. As you can imagine, Gary doesn't take it that well. In fact, he reveals her dirty secret to the Nazirs before pointing the finger at Aiden. Wait till he discovers it was his mate Jason. Fizz can't get hold of Tyrone when Hope is rushed to hospital. But when he hears, he abandons his tow truck outside, only for it to be towed away. Come on, Corrie, give these two a break. Like a true gentleman, Ken invites Roy and Kathy along to his dinner with Audrey. Audrey makes it clear they're not a couple, but is annoyed when Kathy's sister Nessa makes eyes at Ken. Next, we visit the Dales. Ross knocks Pete out with a baseball bat and hangs him over a viaduct. He then orders him to send a suicide text and jump. Brotherly love, hey? Later, Ross has trouble leaving the village when he spots April and then Debbie returns and asks for a snog. But he has a warning for her instead. Pete has survived the fall. Didn't expect that, did you? And he's shocked to find Ross is living with Debbie. But still, he tells him they need to stop fighting for their family's sake. We're all worried about Priya falling back into her bad habits while proving she can run the factory. Rishi wants Nikhil and Molly to come back and help Priya, and it becomes more vital than ever when Rishi sacks Jay following a factory walkout. Belle fails to hide her disappointment when Kieran explains they're just friends and gets drunk at the Halloween party. After shouting at Kieran, she stumbles home, followed by a creepy Lachlan. Oh dear, 